Hey guys, it is Selena here and it is time for check-in day. Um, today is September 11th, it is Friday. And, um, and this is marking two weeks out and that's absolutely insane and it blows my mind how fast this prep has gone by. Um, it's just so crazy. Um, sorry if there is background noise. Uh, they're doing construction on the house behind us so I don't know if that will actually show up in the video or not, but, or this half or whatever. Anyway, so this morning I weighed in at 97 pounds even, um, so that's like a new low weigh-in. Um, it's actually 1.4 pounds lost from last week, so that's pretty like significant because I haven't lost, I think the most that I've lost, um, like week to week is like 0.8 so definitely um, a big increase um, and I honestly like I don't even know why because my training is the same as it has been like the week before and everything and so I don't even know but weird um, so that's my weight um, I'm definitely not feeling like how I'm weighing um, I'll touch on that in a second but I wanted to go over my macros first. I also got this Mophie case. Um, my friend from the gym, Ben, um, he used to work at some cell phone store and he has like a million of them and so he gave me one and it was so sweet because these are really expensive and I cannot afford one by myself. So, shout out to you, Ben, even though you probably don't watch my YouTube. But, okay, macros. I'm eating around 1,400 calories. It kind of um, varies day by day a little bit, but it's around 1,400. Um, and then I'm doing 40 grams of fat, like always, um, 145 grams of carbs, and 130 grams of protein. Um, I've kept my fat pretty much the same almost this whole entire prep. And then carbs, I dropped it by another 15 grams this week. So um, that's I, as I've said almost every week, like that's what 15 grams we're dropping by. Um, and I feel like this next week before Pete week, we're going to have to do a little bit, I don't know what, what we're going to do. I mean, obviously I'll tell you guys in the next prep episode, but like, I don't even know. We need to get down to business. Um, so I guess while I'm talking about that, um, I am not happy with how I'm looking. Um, you're going to see me posing like always later in the video, but I feel like my body is just like holding on to every little tiny ounce of water and just everything I can. I feel like my body is just sucking onto it. And even though I'm losing weight, like I feel like I'm looking terrible and like I know I'm not like looking chubby or anything, but it's like when I'm two weeks out, I'm wanting, I want to be feeling like confident, you know, and everybody's saying, oh, it's just because, you know, you're so close and you're doubting yourself and blah, 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 but like, I'm kind of freaking out and like I've said multiple times to James, I'm like, I don't think I can do it. Like, I don't even think I should go up there. Like, I should, I just should, I should just pull out. He's like, no, you look fine. Like, I would tell you if you should. Cause like I made him promise me since like he's my coach, like you have to tell me if I don't look ready. Like you have to tell me that I need to pull out. And um, he says that I look okay, but I'm just really scared. And oh, I don't know, like my, a lot of people have been like, well, why didn't you get on a fat burner? Like, you know, because there are natural fat burners, and my supplement um, sponsors have a great fat burner. They have many great fat burners. Um, but I honestly didn't feel like I needed it in the beginning until probably like last week. I feel like I could have started it. But then I asked them about it, and they were like, no, don't do it. Like, it's not even worth it at this point, um, just because I'm so close and you kind of need more time to implement that. But um, I don't know, I guess, I don't even know if I'll include this into the video because I'm just kind of rambling and being really negative and yeah. But um, I do not like how I'm looking right now. Um, I feel like um, 
I'm holding, so like my obliques are pretty like thick and I really regret um, training them so much because like literally like this isn't fat, like I'm pinching the skin like it's just like I do hold most of my fat right here and then like right here but these sides, I mean there is that little bit of fat but like my obliques are so thick and so definitely like I've stopped training them during this prep because of that, but I just wish I would have realized that because I heard girls saying, you know, like, don't train your obliques too much. Like, whenever, you just want them to get too big, and I feel like mine are too big just because I'm so, like, like, I have no hips, and so these kind of, like, poke out more, and I'm, I don't know, I'm just not very happy about it. Um, so definitely next, I I mean I've been doing like, it's it's important to train them a little bit, but like they're being trained with your general ab exercises. And like the main thing is um, that I've heard and read about is like not training them with actual weight. Cause like I would do like side, like heavy side bends and like that's gonna make them bulky. And so whatever. But I feel like I'm definitely holding on to like so much water. And I am gonna do a water depletion like on peak week. Um, but my, I've had some people tell me I should do like the water pill. But I don't know how I feel about that right now. I'm really, really scared of rebounding from it. And I just, I don't know what to do about that. So if you all have any advice, just tell me down below if you've ever taken one of those um, and your experience afterwards. Um, so that is how I'm feeling. I don't feel very good about where I'm sitting right now. Um, but we'll see. Um, okay, so we went over weight, macros. Um, these macros are really, really hard for me. Um, it's getting really, really low. And it's, okay, so when I was bulking, it was around like 2300 calories I want to say and now I'm at 1400 so I've almost dropped like a thousand calories like that's a lot and so I am very very hungry on these macros um yeah and so that's all I'm gonna say about that <laughs> um energy is I'm ac I've actually been um sleeping a little bit more which is good I've been making myself sleep more while well, James is actually uh, because I'm a little cranky and hangry and all that, so, um, anyways, that's macros, um, supplements are the same, um, training, um, I'm increasing my cardio to four days a week, and then two, no, three of them are going to be steady state, because that is most challenging for me, and then one of them will be the intervals. Um, I can't do hit because of my ankle, so I'm doing the intervals um, as much as the ankle allows me to. Um, but I think for the steady state, I'm gonna. I was doing like 25 minutes for like two of the sessions that I was doing, and so now I'm. Well, so now what I'm gonna do is um, 30 minute, 30 to 35 minutes of steady state for two of the sessions. Uh, 25 minutes for the intervals and then 40 minutes for the other, the last steady state of the week. So, a lot of cardio. Um, and I'm only doing that really on the Stairmaster. Um, so yeah. Um, and then, as far as lifting goes, I, this week honestly was terrible. Like, my workouts were terrible. Um, as soon as I, it, it's not like my energy was bad or anything, but the weights were just feeling so heavy. Like, I started doing arms yesterday, and, no, not yesterday, uh, Wednesday, and, like, I literally got done with my first set of curls, and I was like, okay, I'm ready to be done. Like, my arms hurt so bad, and, like, the weight, I had to, like, decrease it so much from what I normally do. And like my muscles are just fatiguing like so 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 quickly now, um, and I have forgotten to mention this in like the past videos, the past few weeks. But like 
progressively as each week goes, I get more and more sore, like easily. I don't know how to say that in a smarter way, but anyways, um, like I get, I just been getting more and more sore from basically like the same intensity of my workouts. Um, so that kind of sucks because I'm just like constantly sore. Um, but it, the not being able to lift as much is really messing with my head because that's the kind of training I love. I love lifting heavy and I can't do that right now. And so it's just like, it's messing with my head and like my workouts, lifting wise usually last me a little over an hour and now they're lasting me 30 minutes like that's all I can do because my muscles are just like dying after 30 minutes and um so that kind of sucks um I'm really excited to get back to lifting heavy because I miss it so much but um yeah the workouts were honestly terrible so I don't know that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm just kind of frustrated. Um, so we're gonna, I mean, obviously I'll go over this next week um, in the next episode, but we're gonna drop my back cross again and I'll probably be really grumpy and hungry, but we are almost done. Two more weeks. But I will get through it and I'm excited to see what these next two weeks will bring. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get a grasp on... I am so sorry about the barking. Literally, the dogs bark in every single video I make. Um, anyways, um, I'm hoping I can mess with my water and just kind of see if I can do anything about this situation. But. That is how my ninth week went, or ninth week. That's gonna be it. Um, and now we're gonna go pose. All right guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for sticking around and sticking with me through my prep um, and watching these prep episodes. Um, I know that I don't have a lot of subscribers or followers at this point, but the people that are following me and supporting me, I really just, I appreciate you guys so, so much. And um, you guys are just giving me the push that I need to get through this prep and the push that I need to get through my workouts. Um, I think most of you probably follow my Instagram and seriously, like every single comment that you guys put on there, um, you know, encouraging me and the compliments and everything, like that means so much to me. And even if I don't have the time to reply to you and just say thank you, like know that I really, truly appreciate those comments. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next